Something else I've got to tell you guys about that can happen with your washer is cleaning, okay, your glass. You think, oh, there's soap and water all up inside your washing machine, so you don't need to clean the window because it'll do, well, all I know is, it's like my work, it got moldy, there was ring around of black mold everywhere on this thing. I cleaned it up, shined it up, and now it looks brand spanking new. You can actually see inside there, which is very cool and awesome. And so you guys at home, please do that to yours because mold is not good to have in your house. And that's what that was. It was just a bunch of mold. And I cleaned it up, shine it up, and now it's good and new. See, what you should do after every wash is, instead of leaving the water and the soap on this, it doesn't get clean and it dry and it doesn't dry properly. So, what you should do after you're done with your washing machine, which a lot of us lazy people don't do, which is time consuming and I understand why people don't do it. Take a baby wipe, just wrap baby wipe and either Windex or extra water, spray it on there, wipe it with the baby wipe, and then take a dry, like either toilet paper or a washcloth and wipe it completely dry and then you shouldn't have mold on there ever. Or it shouldn't be dirty ever. Somehow it gets that way. That's my tip. Lower. I'm totally not trying to sound like the grudge. Uh, do I gotta eat another one? <laughs> Holy shit. So my friend Pig Gamer was just live and it was awesome. He was doing some sins, which I should have showed you, and I'm sorry. And some real life things where he was eating spicy food and uh not drinking milk with it and reacting to some of the clips that I've been making for him. That's awesome. But did you know that drama drama are for nerds, according to Chelsea and her husband and Teen Mom too. Yep, dramas for nerds. It's the reason why her and her family don't have drama because Adam's not around anymore. Cause he quit the show. So, dramas for nerds. Sucks that my mom's flower. Oh, my mother's gonna flower passed away, I mean died, uh -huh. but I should have showed you the before of what this looked like, but it, but I didn't, so I got this out, there's my Lego me, my, my sick big, um, there's that kind of stuff, and then there's this kind of stuff. I should have did an update, um, this is what it looked like before and this is the after, but I didn't, and then we did, and then my nephew put all these boxes to make it look a little bit neater, I might go through his books tomorrow, because some of those he doesn't really use, and I need to still go through all this, and this, and yeah, and all this, and I could throw some stuff in there, and hmm. So, that's a thing, and then my brother got, oh, pff, that turns on the fan, well, whatever. I can't really reach up there to get the, whatever. My brother got chocolate all up on these cabinets, and I don't know what his drunk ass was doing. And then down here on the floor, it was really caked with something sticky and I cleaned that up. All it took, not gonna lie, I sprayed water on the part on the part that was dirty and then I used a baby wipe and wiped it off and it came right off. 
the floor and the cabinets. I did those two. I see something here. What is that? When did that break? Because that wasn't like that when I was cleaning. I mean, either my mom or my brother just broke it. Because he doesn't know how to clean up his messes. I was like, I asked him today, I said, did you get chocolate all of these cabinets? He goes, oh, I thought I cleaned up the mess. No, you didn't because you left it in this sink too and mom got pissed. Like, stop destroying the house and our items and our things and take care of it. It's just fucked up. I mean, that's dirty, too. I need to get those done and those, but... They're, they're, I don't know. I just felt like cleaning today. Then I had a missing my dad moment where I cried hardcore. So, yeah. I just want to know how that got broken because that wasn't like that today when I was cleaning. All that went away between the trees. I had a charger battery, but after the presentation, we decided to go to my dad's grave and clean it up a little bit, put mulch around it, red mulch, for tomorrow's funeral when they go out there and bury my uncle. That is in a weird spot. Sorry I didn't vlog a lot today on May 22nd, 2018. What do you like of my, my hat? I don't know if you can see this, but my mom made a big deal about, Oh, you need to dress up to go to the visitation. You need to dress up and look nice and wear these jeans. That's right here that you can barely see. So I had to use... This has an undershirt and it was too long. So I shortened the arms a little bit by folding them in a technique that I saw one time, there's a kitty, and the other shirt was wrinkled, we have to unwrinkle it, and here, so that was the other shirt, short, but as you know, you saw me in the other clip wearing this, and my, cause, now I'm gonna say this, my mom was like, she came down in like a 4th of July old shirt of mine that I gave her because it got shrunk or whatever and it was her size. And I said, uh, I thought you said you, we had to look nice. And she goes, well, I'm sorry, but I don't have anything that's really nice anymore. And so I just threw this on and I was like, but I don't really want to wear, dre I don't really want to dress up because all my dress up clothes just don't look good on me and she goes well if you don't want to dress up then if you had a KU shirt I mean all my KU shirts don't fit me anymore but do you <coughs> have any and I go yeah she goes well put that on because he worked there he's a fan it'd be awesome pretty for the funeral when they bring the body and then on Friday when my grandma comes to put flowers on the grave. So, not much to say. A lot of personal things. But I did get to see one of my step cousins, who I think should be a model. Who, and we got to meet her youngest daughter, who we never, ever got to meet. And those kids were like, Who are you? I don't know you. And the other one could care less that we were there. She was like, oh, thanks for coming, and then just walked away. But they didn't have that many photos of them out, which I thought was weird. And they didn't have a uh, one of those little piece of papers that talk about thing. And my mom didn't know hardly anybody and didn't really want to be there. She just went. And they had a closed casket, which I don't know why, because his body didn't look bad. But they had a really neat Jayhawk lit up next to his casket with his name on it, which was awesome, and so happy. I don't know how much of this 
right here I can get done. But this needs to be a little tamer. This one needs to be tamer, and so is this. So the up here has already been done. It's straightened. I couldn't get much of it put away. I might put some of it in here. I haven't decided. This is already done, as I already showed you. And this is tamer, so I just got to get this all figured out. And then this a little cleaned up. This a little cleaned up. This little area right here, over here in the corner, not much I can do with that. I mean, I could try and get some of it in here. I don't know. Since we don't have a dog anymore, and I don't need to hide my stuff. I don't. I don't know. I had to bring this little purse here for the thing, and so I gotta get that put away. I left my dad's necklace, which is my dad used to wear when he was alive. And I just love crosses, crosses on the thing. So anyways, I left it right there and I was like, oh my god, I hope it doesn't fall down the sink. Because that would piss me off. Because that's my dad's. He used to wear it. But go to think of it, now that I see the hole, I don't think it would fit. <laughs> I hope you are liking these day off vlogs. I mean, nobody's commenting and let me know that they do. But I look at my analytics and my analytics are telling me yes. But I still would love comments because comments mean more to me than views. And did you know I have some people in Indonesia watching me? So if you're watching me from Indonesia, comment down below and say, hey, I'm from Indonesia. Or if you're from the country, let me know where. Um, and also, like I always say, if you don't like my title and think I should have a better title, Help me down in the comments down below with that, and I will be gratefully appreciated to get those comments, or to get, because you will get a shout out if you help me with the title. Something I do want to talk about is this, you see this right here? That is a battery for a camera. Usually, now let me go show you the other one, and my rule is if the battery dies then I switch them out I never ever put an empty case in my purse with no battery in it I would never ever V5 Fo tether yeah I went Joey Casafar on you do that and I put it in this bag which was in my work purse which is this one right here and I put it in this spot. Well, I didn't need to get into it to get a battery because my camera that's in there, the crappy one, didn't need it. Well, this bitch that is harassing my so-called friend at work stole it. I shouldn't have left it unattended. I knew she stole, but I didn't think she'd do it in front of everybody. And I can't believe everybody would allow her to do it. So now I want to get a backpack for my stuff because it's one thing to steal these kind of bracelets. She stole the two that were usually for my right hand and it was a uh, one I got from my job, uh, an old supervisor who was from Japan. She gave me one of them and one of them said love so it kind of pissed me off because those were my good ones. The love one came from the Japanese. The other one was a knockoff. And I just, of that Armstrong biker guy or whatever, you were going to find someone that would buy it from you and you would have drug money. 